unique lesson nine with you today, pre-recorded, because we are running out of days in October and I wanna get all of our chapters done um, this week so we could start next week on our November, our November lessons, because November is gonna be a short month too. We have a lot of breaks in November. So, we're gonna do our final chapter, some of them pre-recorded and some of them in, in class tomorrow or on Zoom. Okay, so today I think we're gonna do lesson nine and 11 pre-recorded and tomorrow in class we will do lesson 13 and on Zoom we will do lesson 13 for the students that are not in class tomorrow. So, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into the student account just so you could see what it would look like if you signed in at home on Unique and everybody should have their accounts, but if you don't, let me know and I will help you fix that. So I'm going to lesson nine. So last, the last time we were in class together, we worked on chapter three, the force of gravity. Today, we are going to work on lesson, excuse me, sorry, I have a fly in here. Today is chapter nine, or lesson nine, chapter four. Okay, so look, we're going to read chapter four today. Chapter four, speed and direction. Okay, so we're talking about speed and direction today. Okay, so let's read. Sydney goes to the volleyball station. There is a big net. She is put on a team. Sydney goes to the front of the net. Okay, so Sydney is at the volleyball station. Remember, everybody in the class is learning different games. So JR did a race and Mark did a um, soccer station. And now it's Sydney's turn. So she's gonna play volleyball. Have you ever played volleyball? It's played with a white ball that looks like this and a net. And you try to hit the ball over the net. The ball comes to Sydney. She pushes the ball up with her arms. The ball goes over the net. It falls to the ground. Gravity pulls it down. Okay, so Somebody hit the ball probably over the net to Sydney. So Sydney pushes up with her arms and her hands. Usually they hold their hands together like this and then push, push up. Okay, so the ball goes over the net and it falls to the ground. Gravity, and I remember we, some of us did a lesson about gravity um, yesterday and some of us will do one tomorrow and we'll talk more about gravity tomorrow. Gravity is a force that makes things go to the ground. It is Sydney's turn to serve the ball. She knows where she wants the ball to go. She can hit or push the ball to go there. Okay, so Sydney is going to serve the ball. That means that she hits the ball over the net that's serving it. And she knows where she wants the ball to go. So they try to either hit it at somebody or hit it somewhere where that person cannot hit it back because that's how they score a point. Sydney swings her arm and hits the ball. The ball goes where she wants it to go, but the other team blocks the ball. The ball goes the other way. It falls to the ground. Okay, so yes, you go, they hit the ball over the net and they try to make it go to the ground, but the other team can block it from going to the ground and hit it back to Sydney. And that's what happened. Sydney remembers something about motion. A force can change the way an object moves. The other players stop the motion of the ball. The ball moved the other way. 
Okay, so remember something will move or stay still depending on a force that acts upon it. So the ball, hitting the ball or pushing the ball over the net is a force. So it can make it go one way, but it can also make it go another way. Sydney remembers something else. A force can change the speed of an object. The ball will go faster if you use more force. The ball will go slower if you use less force. Okay, so she remembered something else. The ball will go faster if you use more force and slower if you use less force. So the harder you hit it, the more force you're using. The softer you hit it, the less force you use. The ball moves to Sydney. She uses force to hit the ball hard. The other team misses the ball. Sydney scores a point. She knows she can change how the ball moves. Okay, so she scored a point because she was able to hit the ball harder and the other team missed the ball. That means they weren't able to hit it or put a force on it to move it back towards Sydney. So she made a point. Okay, so that was speed and direction. So some of our words. Push. Push, okay, remember that's a force that moves something away from you. Push, okay, like this person, imagine they're pushing a heavy box or something. They're pushing it away with a lot of force, okay? A hit is also a force. It's kind of the same as push a push. It's pushing the ball, hitting the ball is also pushing it away. Okay, and let's see what other kind of force. Fall. A fall is a force. Gravity. Okay, so gravity is the force that acts upon things and makes them go toward the ground. Okay. Force. Force is moving something from one place to another. Motion. Motion is the way things move. So the car moves fast, the top moves, spins fast. People can stretch and move their body in different ways. Okay, those are the way things move. Okay, so those are some of our vocabulary words. Now let's do the questions. Okay, so these are the questions that we do in class, and so far everybody's been doing a really good job in class of answering the questions by circling an answer. So we're going to do that together, okay, and when you watch this video, you can work on it at home. So you, and the good thing about this being pre-recorded is you can pause, you can answer the questions first, and then finish watching it and see if you're right. Okay, if your answers match with mine. Okay, so number one. One. What is this chapter about? Okay, what is the chapter about? Is it A, about volleyball, B, about balancing, or C, about running? Okay, what sport did she play in this story, in this chapter? Volleyball. Volleyball. So it's A, volleyball. That's what Sydney played. Number two. Two. How does Sydney move the ball with her arms? Okay, how does she make the ball move? Is it A, with luck, B, with a rest, or C, push? Okay, is it A, luck? Luck. Is it B, rest? Rest. No. Is it C, push? Push. That is correct, C. Okay, number three. Three. Where does the ball go? Where does the ball go? Does it go A in the water, B over the net, or C in the tree? What do you think? Does it go in the water? Was there water in the story? In the water. Does it go over the net? I think so. Over the net. Okay, number four. Four. How will the ball move with less force? Okay, how does the ball move with less force? A, slower, B, faster, or C, farther? What do you think? Less force, so hitting it softer. Does it go farther? Farther. No. Does it go faster? Faster. No. 
does it go slower? Slower. Yes. Okay, and five. Five. What is important to know about this chapter? Okay, what is important to know about this chapter? A. Sydney serves the volleyball. B. A force can change the way an object moves. Or C. Sydney's team loses. Okay, well, what did, what did Sydney learn in this chapter? A. Sydney serves the volleyball. No, that's not what she learned. Did she learn a force can change the way an object moves? Yes, she did. Okay, so those are the questions. Okay, so see if you can answer them yourself first. Pause the video and then watch the answers, okay? I will see you later.